Hello, good morning. Just to confuse the translators, ¿quién es de, de vosotros sois españoles? Pues gracias por venir de, el viernes por la noche a escucharnos. Y, y ahora de nuevo en, en inglés. Nuestra presentación vamos a hacerla en tandem. Ah, sorry. I, Please, can you make it work again? Ah. No, this is a prototype, so it's always like this. And make it not, uh, make it not uh, blank out. Middle of this place. No, no. no. Oh. Make it middle of this place, look here. Yeah, make it mirror. This was not, not wanted. This is not, not the part of the demo. Okay. Okay. Okay, so the presentation title, you can see it. Uh, we are going to tell you about um, a kind of fruitful collaboration we have, me and Valek. Me, I am the straight engineer, and Valek is the reverse engineer. So, we are working together in, uh, in reverse engineering file formats, um, so that, uh, am I enough loud? Okay. So that uh, free and open source software can open it and read formats that are not documented. Uh, no, when it goes to sleep, it switched to... Uh, yeah. That was again not intended. Make it, make it not sleep. Make it not sleep. And power, power option, presentation, after. Um, uh, anyway, we have 20 minutes and we don't have much to say, so. <laughs> no. this, is, this is just our Android remote and we just realized that it can work from those, those two phones and it was working all day yesterday and we were playing it like a, okay. Okay, so um, let me go to the next one. Oh no, <laughs> again too much. Ah, you. Ah, no. You know what? Okay, it normally works. Just be doing sometimes out or so that okay. it doesn't go. Okay. So, uh, LibreOffice is, I don't know, some of you might know what LibreOffice is. It's a, it's a, a, a productivity software package that we inherited from something that used to be called OpenOffice Org, but we didn't like how it was going, so we took the code and we started to develop it in a real cooperative way, and fuck it. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, no translation for that. It would be You can't make it not sleep. Uh, tell me how. I'm the reverse engineer, not a straight one. Apply, and then go there. Go to the pro settings, and no, okay. No, go to go to settings of the of the computer system settings, and uh, power options or something. Yes, keep this configuration. Okay. Ah, okay. That's why. It was okay. Uh, put the presentation again. F5. No. Oh no, it's somewhere there. Okay. Apart that, it's it's quite a good package. Um, so now I can actually start. So we, we produced, we produced this reverse engineered, uh, reserve, uh, this graphic libraries, we produced them as a standalone libraries. Uh, you can see the list of what we have for the while. We have library for WordPerfect graphics, for Visio, for uh, CorelDRAW, and for Microsoft Publisher par formats. We parse them and we 
all these libraries, they use the same interface, which makes it a bit easy. We have uh, a standalone framework to generate ODG from the API calls, and also internal class in each library that is generating SVG for, uh, for programmers that actually don't want to program. Um, so uh, who is our user outside LibreOffice? Um, so Inkscape reuses uh, for the 0 0.49 version, it will reuse LibVisio and LibCDR. Caligra, last time I looked, it was a year ago, uh, was reusing LibVisio and someone contacted me for wanting also to reuse LibCDR, but I didn't check really whether it was reused. Uh, and uh, recently we received an email of, um, of Franz Schmidt that said that he integrated LibMSPub with Scribus. I didn't check, uh, but it might be true uh, since he published it in, in our mailing list. Uh, the advantage of this development model is just that not only we, we don't want to, uh, we are already so good that we don't want to exclude others from uh, having uh, the same functionality that they have. Uh, but also the other advantage is that more users we receive, more bugs is, are reported and we can improve because with reverse engineered format, the problem is that we can only reverse engineer what we see and, uh, and we can make assumption of on a finite um, set of data that we have. And every time we release in public, we receive bug reports of people who have documents that have structures that we never saw before. Uh, now, what was done? So, very quickly, what was done? So, Visio Import Filter and the library LibVisio, it was a project of Google Summer of Code 2011. It was a very talented Scottish girl called Illy McAdam, who, as a result of her Google Summer of Code work on LibVisio, was hired by Lanedo, that is... Uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a GTK company that is employing, for example, Mitch uh, from GIMP. Um, we started by, uh, with Visio 2000 to Visio 2010 file formats, and that was part of our LibreOffice 3.5 release. In, uh, in 2012, we extended that to all Visio file format versions that ever existed. So now we can open all Visio file formats that uh, the earth was carrying. And we also, uh, before it was actually even released, we supported the Visio 2013 XML file format. Um, and we added stencils and shape extraction uh, that is used now in, uh, in Trunk in Inkscape. Um, okay. Um, so how we did it? It, it is always bug-driven rewrite. Um, we, for example, got a document that was we, we never saw the structure. It was most probably uh, generated by an SDK. So when we saw the document, we realized that what we did, it was not very useful. So we have to re refactor the parser. It was an additional work, but it helped us then to be more generic and, and be able to little by little support other versions. Uh, with Microsoft Visio 2013, when the preview came out, I downloaded it and I realized that they completely changed file format. They made it an XML-based, OXML-ish style file format. The advantage with Microsoft is that basically the XML file formats are dump of what is there in binary. So you actually have just to change the parser, but the information is the same. So we had to rewrite the parser so they are more generic. And then, as a side effect, we, we supported also Visio XML drawing. Now, for version 1 and 5, uh, with these rewrites, we realized that uh, we were able to support versions 1 and 5 also. Uh, for Coral Draw import filter, work started in late 20, uh, 2011, was released with LibreOffice 3.6. Uh, it was an interesting challenge after the success of LibVisio, and it was a continuation of a fruitful collaboration between the straight and the reverse engineering team. I mean, me and Valek. Um, we support now all CorelDRAW file formats starting from version one that not even CorelDRAW can load, and we end by CorelDRAW uh, X6, that is the latest version that was released for the time being. Um, 
we go to how we extend it. We we were extending it. Uh, let's let's keep this because Femke she was already uh, sh showing me that I was speaking very um, very slowly. So in a then the latest library that we added is libmspub. It's a library to parse Microsoft Publisher file format. It was again a Google Summer of Code 2012 uh, by American students called Brennan T. Vincent. And uh, he, as a result of this Google Summer of Code with us, he was hired by Amazon. So, and it was our flagship feature for LibreOffice 4.0. And uh, this is the version support. We, since it was just released, we wait for people to use it and bug us with bugs. Uh, we can go further. And now, the reverse engineering tools. Okay. Uh, we have two tools to do all this uh, reverse engineering work. We are called All Toy. Uh, this one was started to reverse engineering MS Publisher and now supports uh, probably two dozens of uh, different file formats. And also Colopatter, which is uh, derived from Russian world which means to scrap something. It's developed straightly to reverse engineering, not useful for any other regular task. And also it supports collaboration be between reverse and straight engineers and used a lot for root cause analysis for import issues. So, so when I see some bug report uh, for LibreOffice uh, on import doc, XLS, PPT, or uh, any other file, I look inside to find out possible reason why it fails. Olitoy supports, as I know, a couple of dozens of file, fo file formats. It has uh, knobs to do a quick search of uh, parts of a file uh, for navigation, information gathering, and so on. And Colopatter, you can probably say that it's a hex U uh, program, yet another hex U problem on steroids. It supports a vari uh, variable uh, string length. It supports hints for values, which you see um, highlight in a collaborator. It provides ability to do a comments for the parts of a code you select. It has its own format, which you can use to send files to each other. And it also have a HTML expert, because now we have our first official Windows user. Specifically for him, uh, I've made some changes to um, make it possible to run these tools on Windows. It's a musical teacher from Czechia who was interested um, a couple of weeks ago. He just contacted me. He's interested to reverse engineer Yamaha uh, extension pack uh, files. And he progressed pretty well, so probably Yamaha user would be able to create these files on their own. Uh, last year, it's an update for tools. Uh, there was an added support for Coral Photo Pen, picked uh, CDW, which is a, a Russian uh, CAD program, uh, CPL, CDX, ICC, CMX, QPV, RTF, IBR, BGR, ZIP, and uh, YEP, which is Yamaha files. Improved support for a uh, few, ta few uh, formats, okay, and uh, added three hands, seven, eight, and nine support. Uh, how you can help us and uh, join to that. First of all, uh, LibreOffice is a mentoring, a mentoring organization for this year, uh, Google Summer of Code. We are looking for a talented student to join us to work on a freehand uh, import filter, uh, import library, the same way as uh, LibCDR, uh, sorry, LibVisio and uh, LibMSPub was done. We cannot promise that you will be famous, Right, but we expect that probably you will be hired by someone after that, as two previous uh, students were hired, and uh, that will be a significant uh, contribution. Uh, there are still a lot of freehand users who uh, want to be able to open their old files. Uh, file format partly reverse engineered, so it would not be uh, from scratch, and you are uh, supposed to be successful with your project. Thank you very much, and if you have some questions. Just, just a little correction. Valek, he said something that is not accurate. We can promise you that you will be famous. We can't promise you that you will be rich. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have time for one or two questions. Yes. Uh, thank, you, thank you for publisher format. Uh, from the Scribus side, I'm not sure that we can 
help much, but we have a wish from our user, and the big uh, wish is InDesign files. Everybody wants to read InDesign files. I don't know if it's interest, interesting also for open off, uh, LibreOffice, but uh, this is a big wish. So InDesign files. Is it the rich user? Is it the big user with a lot of money? Okay, well, uh, for, uh, we can probably do that. Uh, the problem with uh, any reverse engineering of something uh, which we don't know is we have to have user who knows the program, like in design, and can generate various files and wish to do that, and uh, who can explain what actually is in the file and follow instructions. Because if you say, please do the file with one rectangle located in that place, and you receive something which is probably close to that but not exact, when you screw it on the reverse engineering part because you expect some values and you receive something completely different. Right? But if we have a user who can do that, we can do uh, reverse engineering. We cannot promise a result, right? but uh, we will do our best to support it. Okay. So, so they need uh, a user that can do uh, a structured uh, response to their questions so that they can, from the file that's produced, understand what's happening. No, uh, no. we need an we need we need in design a user. We need Ale, we need an in design user that can be a bit of extended hand. We don't have in design, we are not going to pay for it. So we need someone whom you tell, please position a frame that is big two centimeters wide, three centimeters on this coordinate. And it has to be that thing because then we open the file and we try to look for different numbers and try to find and chop the structure so that we can more or less, oh, in this part of the file is this and this kind of stuff. So, and it requires a lot of iteration, so the user would be good if it was not someone who is addicted to sleep. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're going to look for this person. Thank you very much.